What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Nick with Leverage Media, and welcome to another episode of Path to a Million Podcast. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about showing up in Google when you have a practice in a big city. Uh, so being in a big city gives you a lot of opportunities, lots of people, uh, usually higher incomes, um, but it also comes with its own set of challenges, usually more competitive. Um, the, the cities are usually more segmented in, the, in that people kind of stay close to home. Um, there's, um, uh, there's just a lot of uh, nuances that come with, uh, with uh, having a practice in a big city. So I live here in Chicago. And in Chicago, it's, you know, it's probably similar to, to most, you know, million plus cities in that uh, the neighborhoods are what, what really matters. So like I'm here in the heart of the loop. Um, even within the loop, there's the South Loop, which is, you know, something that someone would uh, possibly be searching for when they're looking for a chiropractor. Uh, to the north of us, uh, just across the river is River North, then the Gold Coast, then uh, Lincoln Park and Old Town. And so there's all these, uh, you know, little areas which may only be, you know, a few city blocks uh, wide or long. Uh, but it's it's what those people that live there or work there may be searching for. So a couple of things you have to keep in mind. Number one is you've got to have content on your website that at least includes those neighborhoods that uh, surround you. So the one you're in and the ones that touch you, I would strongly recommend having those on uh, the, the, those words, the names of those uh, neighborhoods on different pages throughout your website. And I don't just mean like, stuffing them into the bottom of, of the footer of your website, but trying to create content that may be relevant to um, those, those neighborhoods. So maybe uh, like, for example, in River North, uh, you know, it's pretty expensive there. You know, a lot of uh, high uh, net worth individuals live there. Maybe you do, uh, you know, the seven healthiest restaurants to eat at in, in River North. It doesn't even have to really be, uh, you know, exactly related to health. It always helps. Um, but like in Chicago, they have a lot of street festivals. Um, doing, a, you know, just doing a blog post about the street festival, uh, giving some, you know, some commonly asked information. But being able to utilize those uh, neighborhood names on different pages, even if they're just blog posts within your website, uh, while also giving some type of value uh, to the larger community uh, can really help for Google just to understand that these are the places that you would like to show up for. Uh, so that's number one. That's something you can do on your website. Uh, number two is, you know, because it is such a competitive area, um, you know, everybody's going to be competing for a lot of the same keywords. And sometimes the performance of the website uh, is going to be something that may be a tiebreaker. So uh, there's a there's an update coming, I think either this month or next month, that is uh, basically uh, will be judging sites based off of their uh, performance metrics. And as long as you meet a minimum bar, uh, you will be in the group that would win the tiebreaker if you came up against someone else who was seen as equal in Google's eyes, but your performance is uh, they didn't meet the minimum bar. So that would be a tiebreaker for you versus them. Um, so it's important because, mo you know, a lot of the, the, the bigger cities will have uh, franchises. They'll have uh, multi uh, location uh, facilities that are um, businesses that may have, uh, you know, dedicated uh, IT people or, or marketing people that are really like focused on those things. So uh, making sure that your your website is uh, performing optimally, uh, as well as uh, that it's it, it's really built for a mobile first environment. In the uh, cities, you're going to be more likely to have a lot of your traffic coming from mobile devices. Even in uh, you know smaller areas like where my practice is at, you know we probably get uh, sixty plus, maybe even two thirds of our traffic coming from mobile devices now. So it's really important for you to uh, be optimized for mobile. And then last but not least, and I, you know, I think this is the, the easiest for you to control. Um, and I think it's the, the most effective when people are looking for a chiropractor is, you know, running ads, uh, Google ads around uh, your practice with, you know, in a city with a pretty tight radius. So, um, you know, let's say you, it, you know, River North would be a good example of this. 
in that anybody that is in uh, River North uh, with a practice, you'd also be pulling from Gold Coast, uh, possibly Lincoln Park, uh, part of the loop. So you don't have to rank for all of those keywords if you're able to uh, you know, run Google ads for uh, specific keywords, especially like chiropractor near me. In a city, a lot of us, uh, when we're looking for a service, we'll do you know, a chiropractor near me. In a place like where my practice is at in, in Springfield, uh, it's more likely that they're gonna be typing in uh, chiropractor city state because everybody in Springfield is okay with driving to any parts of the city. But in Chicago, in Seattle, in Washington, D.C., um, you know, it could be an hour away, uh, even though they're technically in the same city. So a lot of times it's going to come down to, uh, you know, chiropractor near me, chiropractor, you know, name of the neighborhood. So uh, just make sure that you're keeping that in mind uh, when you are trying to show up in Google uh, when you're in a big city. Uh, you know, I know it can be competitive, but, uh, but there's a lot of people that are looking for a chiropractor. So if you can do these things well, uh, you will be rewarded uh, handsomely by Google. So uh, hopefully this helps. Hopefully you guys are uh, showing up even more uh, after you implement a few of these things. So we'll talk to you on the next one.